Oh yeah, <laughs> this rich a Dominic wedding a one in town. Oh. Na waiting rich to trend. Na na waiting rich to talk about my people. Una see castle wedding for UK. Una see that wedding when it took place in London. Una see rich a Dominic outfit. Una see the wedding gown when she climbed the step. Me if na never see I'm on a day watching for this clip when they show for na so my correct correct people. Even na even on that age wedding, never tough reach this way with a Dominic wedding. That wedding he carry weight. He no already carry weight. He can he can carry weight. Join the fine girl. Just look at people on that wedding. They are all of on the, they are they are both forties. But look at how they look like teenagers. Or oh, is it kids? Or oh, is it Choma? Or oh, is it the Rita Dominic herself? Just check out these three people that I just mentioned, my people. Eh? Kate are 50 something, like on the. Kate is, is 50 something, and she's looking like 10. Choma Akpoka is above 40, but looking like that. Rita Dominic is above 40, looking like that. My people. Hey. Anybody when you say this wedding not go get head, you know go see if you drink water, you go turn sickness for your body. This lady, as they color be people husband rich one, they will not hear and say this lady color be person husband. They not carry and come social media account, they call her uh, side chicken. So no not allow this woman to enjoy marriage when you use old age to marry. No not allow to enjoy this marriage. But before then, my people, the one when carry me come today, I bought this our sister Franca. When they use rosary, the rosary and Bible, till they pray. So she don't come out now, come see vision for them. Say, prophecy when you see for her, how people want to call up the husband, how friendly friend want to remove her for the husband, how they want to take by her enemy. Rita will not die, my people. So, me will not listen to her, and me will not drop in a comment for the comment section. I know, say, this is our sister, Franca. This is our sister, Franca. When they always they pray, they see them. I pray, may this one reach where Rita Dominic there, and I pray, may she listen to what she talk to. And secondly, may them try, may not try share this video. May not tag her, Rita Dominic. Tag her, Mr. Fel, if Fidel is on us, tag them, join her, tag them, so that may them get this message. When I know say vengeful celebration, when person they celebrate like this, now enemy they come oh, so that Rita go open it too. I go get for back, you get for front. Nobody when you go see this wedding, when no go envious of it, unless now friendly friend. This one are supposed to be a thing to celebrate, not to be envied. So my people, mona listen. May the peace of God be with you, Rita, Dominic, and Osike. The Lord showed me a revelation concerning you. And you don't have to worry about it. All you need to do is to do the necessary things so that it can be averted. You have an unfriendly friend, a female unfriendly friend. And this sister has an unforgiving spirit. I don't know what transpired between you and her. It is important that you go to God in prayer and fasting. Because the attack will cost you your life. And even when you overcome... As the Lord showed me again today, somebody will want to take your husband or share your husband with you. God revealed so that you will pray and do other things that I'm going to tell you. If you do what I spell out for you, God will intervene. What God cannot do, my sister, does not exist. That is why it is important, especially in this generation, to be very, very close to God Almighty. Because evil multiplies on a daily basis. May God deliver this sick generation in the name of Jesus. Now, Rita, your assignments are as follows. Please do novena to the Holy Spirit. Novena to the Holy Spirit is nine days. So go to Google and type novena to the Holy Spirit. The one I usually use was uploaded by my Catholic life. All the novena to the Holy Spirit are uploaded by Catholics. The Holy Spirit is for everyone, every Christian. When you finish the day one, for example, you will see day one to day nine. Pray the prayer of consecration to the Holy Spirit and prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Then type again, Litany of the Holy Spirit. Say the Litany of the Holy Spirit. That makes a complete novena. Let the Holy Spirit expose that unfriendly friend and take her far away from your life and your marriage. And may God give you the opportunity 
to live for him. Peter, I counsel that you live for God. Tell God that if he saves your life, that you are going to live for him. At the end of the nine days novena to the Holy Spirit, check my video on Thank You Jesus a thousand times. This is the rosary bead for Thank You Jesus and it's 200 times. When you say it five times, it becomes a thousand times. So every day, thank the Holy Spirit a thousand times for another seven days. Together with that novena to the Holy Spirit, you will pray the following Psalms. Psalm 51, Psalm 1, Psalm 13, 20, 23, 35, 46, 91, 99, 121, 140. Then Isaiah 58 verses 1 to 11, Psalm 41 verses 1 to 3. The part two of your assignment is this. Chaplet of the precious blood of Jesus. If it is possible, pray this prayer by 11 p.m. Your assignment comes with fasting, 6 to 12 at least. So you will pray the chaplet of the precious blood for 21 days. This is the book. In this book, you go to the content, you see chaplet of the precious blood. Let the blood of Jesus protect, defend you, preserve your life. The blood of Jesus is powerful against attacks. I keep on saying it. Have a recourse to the most precious blood of Jesus. Also, the Psalms you prayed when you were saying the Novena to the Holy Spirit, you also pray it. Maybe in the morning time, as you are doing these 21 days. At the end of the 21 days, you don't need to do fasting as you are thanking God. Use the same thank you, Jesus Rosary. And pray thank you, Jesus, a thousand times for another seven days. As much as possible, my sister, avoid distraction as you are doing this program. You know what I mean. I'm not saying you should not do your work. But anything that will distract you, that will make you not to be spiritually focused, is worth avoiding. We are talking about your life here, followed by your marriage. The part three of your assignment is alms giving. Give alms to the poor, either the poor sick or the poor healthy. Ask them what they need, provide it for them, as many as you can, as many less privileged you can reach out to. Please try and locate married people. Married Christians, about four, from 70 years and above of age. Bless them, Rita. Ask them to pray for you. I also counsel that you can request the mother of Jesus to pray for you. She will help you. She's the mother of all. After this program, my sister, please keep on giving alms to the less privileged. May God preserve your life. May God preserve your marriage. May God draw you closer to himself, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, I want to clear the air concerning David o and the use of his son for ritual. You don't need to believe me, but I need to say it. David o did not use his son for ritual. It is unfortunate that some people are insinuating this against him. He did not use Ifani for ritual. Please stop destroying somebody's name and image. It is not good. I greet you sisters all over the world. What I'm saying now, I have spoken about it in my very first video in the social media. A divine revelation on external attack against Nigerians. And I'm prompted to say it again. Before I continue, I just want to ask us one question. Sisters, do we really care about our brothers, married or unmarried? It is written, the love of God is poured in our hearts from above through the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans chapter 5 verse 5. If our love have not reached to the extent of saving souls, of being our brother's keepers, helping them to make heaven, then we should have some rethink. Matthew chapter 5 verses 27 to 29 declares, You have heard how it was said, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, if a man looks at a woman lustfully, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye should be your downfall, tear it out and throw it away. For it will do you less harm to lose one part of yourself than to have your whole body thrown into hell. Dear sisters all over the world, how do we want our brothers to cope with all this indecent dressing? 
nakedness everywhere, even inside the church of God. People gather in the church to pray, to tell God their problems, and they end up going back without presenting to the Lord their problem. Some went back worse than they came. Some went back with nothing. Because our sisters have succeeded in distracting them, even in the presence of God. Why do we have to make our brothers to struggle with purity? Why do we have to punish our brothers? Why do we have to put their soul in danger? You are not just harming them, you are also harming yourself. Listen to the end so that you understand. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 says, In like manner, I wish women to be decently dressed, adorning themselves with modesty and dignity, not with braided hair or gold, or pearls, or costly clothing, but with good works, such as become women professing godliness. You can still look very nice with good clothes on you. You can still look very beautiful. Already the Bible declared that we are wonderfully and beautifully made. Especially in this generation, we fully, sisters go to market to pick dresses that will cost a man his soul. Please show some mercy, sisters, all over the world. Show some mercy. We are going somewhere. We are supposed to be our brother's keeper. Let me tell us what St. Bernard said. If you have the virtues of modesty and purity, you have something which money cannot buy, and an ornament which we, we at last all the fading treasures of earth. How beautiful then is modesty, and what a beauty among virtues it is. The Blessed Virgin Mary has time without number, revealed in her apparitions that Jesus is greatly offended by this dressing, and is leading many souls to commit sin of the flesh. And many souls are landing in hellfire. To Jacinta or Fatima in 1920, the Blessed Virgin Mary said, Certain fashions will be introduced which will offend our Divine Lord very much. Those who serve God ought not to follow these fashions. Our Lord is always the same. She further said, The sin that lead most souls to hellfire are the sins of the flesh. These indecent dressings make some men to burn in the fire of impurity. The result is that they commit adultery in their hearts. And some go further to practice it. I have a sister, my schoolmate, in the University of Calabar. One day we were discussing on indecent dressing. She told me her personal experience. Her name is Ife Yungwa. She opened up to me and said, I have never for once believed that we are in trouser as a woman offends God and indecent dresses. Until one day in the dream, the Lord appeared to me and showed me. The Lord said to her, Come, I will show you we are sisters who we are trousers and dressed indecently go to. Just in a twinkle of an eye, the Lord showed her hellfire. That was what she told me. Immediately she woke up from that dream, according to her, she burnt all her trousers. So she said, I went ahead to buy new clothes for myself, and she was thankful that the Lord showed her. Jesus will not come to tell everybody. This other vision, I don't know the person, I picked it up from the writing of a reverend father. The lady narrated, a vision of a sister who found herself in her fire was shown her by the Lord. This vision came to her because she asked the Lord, what most displeases you about women? The Lord showed her this sister born in hell. And the sister said to her, I was a slave of vanity, ruled by the passion to please. I was not afraid to adopt indecent fashions to attract attention. And I enkindled the fire of impurity in more than one heart. She caused more than one person to fall. We are going somewhere. This world is not our home. May the Holy Spirit bless this teaching in our hearts. In the name of Jesus. Amen.